What is going on, Bills fans, Bills Mafia, the Buffalo Bills Nation? I'm Thomas. This is the Buffalo Fanatics. You guys already know what it is. Today, I'm back with a brand new video. What do the Buffalo Bills got to do? What do they got to change to become a playoff contender in 2019? Let's get right into it. So before I get into anything, I just have a question for you guys. Do you guys like the Bills Mafia flag, or do you want me to change up the background a little bit? Leave your comments down below. I'll look into it. Also, right now, it is week 11, uh, the Buffalo Bills bye week. This next Sunday, they go into New Era Field and take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. It's going to be a tough one, uh, but hopefully they can come out with the dub. Uh, Josh Allen is back in the starting lineup, so it's going to be really, really fun to see what happens. And I'm going to be at that game, so I'm going to be screaming my head off. You guys already know what it is. But without any further introduction, let's jump right into it. So if you're a worried Bills fan, here's some numbers to help you feel a little bit better and sleep a little bit better at night, okay? Right now, the Buffalo Bills have $9.5 million in cap space. So if they don't spend any more money this year, next year when it rolls over, they will have $91.4 million in cap space. And the year after that, $132.4 million to spend in free agency and the draft. And it is going to be really exciting over these next two seasons just to watch that. Also, the Bills don't have just seven or eight or nine or ten, but they have 11 draft picks in this upcoming draft. And it is going to be really fun this entire draft to see exactly what they do. Do they trade up? Do they trade down? It's going to be a lot of fun to watch. So just those numbers alone should make you feel a little bit better about the future. But that warrants the question, with all that money and all those draft picks, what positions need to be upgraded? Wide receiver, offensive line, the second cornerback position, in my opinion, tight end, defensive tackle, linebacker, all of these positions you know, need to be upgraded in my opinion, and I will give you the reason why. So obviously we got the wide receivers, we got KB, he's definitely gone at the end of the season. We got Zay, we're keeping him. We got Andre Holmes, the solid special teamer. We got Deontay Thompson, we can see what he does this season, see if he brings some life to our offense and see if we bring him back. We got Robert Foster, who had an awesome game against the Jets. Ray Ray McLeod, who's done not really much this year. And Isaiah McKenzie, who was phenomenal in that last game uh, on special teams and on offense. Uh, being very versatile, he is definitely going to stick around if he continues to play well. So with those 11 draft picks and all that cap space, they're definitely going to upgrade wide receiver, you know, to help out Josh Allen as much as possible. And that, in my opinion, is one of the biggest uh, positions that they need to upgrade. It's been lackluster for the last couple years uh, for wide receivers uh, on the Buffalo Bills, and we need to finally bring in some guys. Um, and, you know, Josh Allen's going to have to play really, really well these last couple games uh, to showcase what he's got so free agents, uh, wide, free agent wide receivers want to come to Buffalo. I think that's going to be huge in determining who comes. And just some free agent wide receiver names that uh, are on the market if they don't get resigned. Uh, Dante Moncrief of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Randall Cobb of the Green Bay Packers, um, Tavon Austin of the Dallas Cowboys, John Brown of the Baltimore Ravens. All these guys uh, are, are very solid players, in my opinion, who can easily come into the lineup and make an impact um, right away. And, uh, and, you know, I don't know uh, what you guys think about each and every one of them. I'm sure you guys have mixed, you know, opinions. However, each of those guys would definitely probably help us out in one way or another. So next up, we have offensive line. Offensive line obviously needs to be upgraded. That center position with Bodine, uh, maybe the right guard position. John Miller's on contract year. Do we bring him back? Who knows? We also have Jordan Mills, who has been the starter for uh, a little bit now. Are we going to upgrade? I think absolutely. There's a couple names in free agency. I don't, I didn't write them down, so I'm not exactly sure, but I'm sure we can get some guys in free agency. And then obviously in the draft, there's a couple guys as well that I'm sure they're looking out for to watch. So offensive line, they are definitely going to upgrade. My next position, cornerback two. Now this one's interesting because we have Levi Wallace and we also have Ryan Lewis. And both players have been, I think, 
I think fine. Uh, you know, I, I like both of them. They're both very young and they're both, uh, I think playing fine. I think, uh, I think I like Ryan Lewis's game and I like Levi Wallace. So I don't really care who necessarily starts, but these next six games are going to be incredibly crucial to who, what, 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 what happens. Because if Levi Wallace takes over or Ryan Lewis takes over as the, you know, for, for sure number two cornerback, then I think we don't necessarily have to target that position as much. But since it's such a question after uh, Philip Gaines left, you know, I think that they're looking to add and we'll see if one of these two guys can definitely uh, come in and make a big impact for these next six games. Next up, I have tight end, which some people might have a, they might not understand necessarily where I'm coming from. We have Charles Clay, we have Jason Kroom, and we have Logan Thomas. However, in my opinion, since Charles Clay has been injured a lot recently um, and he hasn't been producing as much, I think the Buffalo Bills need to move on from him and get somebody else in there. Um, somebody younger. You know, I like the names of, uh, of uh, Jason Kroom and Logan Thomas. I like them both on our team, but I think we need a for sure number one guy. Um, and a big name in free agency, if the Bengals don't resign him, is Tyler Eifert. I know he keeps getting a little bit injured, uh, but who knows? Maybe they trade for a guy. I don't know what they're gonna, what they're planning to do. They're probably gonna keep Clay, but in my opinion, I don't really like Clay because I don't think he. I think he's a little bit overrated. I think he's very injury prone. I think his contract's too expensive, and I think he's getting up there in age. And so I would like to see them kind of maybe part ways with him. But maybe they t they keep him, and you know, then he's part of us. Then he's a part of. Uh, our team for 2019 we'll see you know who knows next up i have outside linebacker mainly for the sole purpose of what's going to happen with lorenzo alexander are we going to bring him back um is he i mean he's getting old of course he's still producing a little bit but do we need a young linebacker as well as matt milano and tremaine edmonds do we need another young guy to come in in the draft or maybe in free agency that we go after who knows? I think we need depth though at linebacker. We definitely need depth and that's something that they definitely need to look to add. And my very last position of need, defensive tackle. Is Kyle Williams coming back? Is Starla Tule good enough to stay on this team? I don't know. Um, those I don't know the, those answers to those questions. However, I think that if Kyle definitely goes, they're definitely going to need to add somebody. Uh, absolutely, without a doubt. Kyle has been playing phenomenal and hopefully if Allen, you know, starts playing pretty well, in these last couple games, hopefully Kyle can say, all right, I'll come back for one more game or one more season. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, I think that he might be done. But uh, who knows? We all don't know. And a couple things that the Buffalo Bills just have to get right. I think number one, undoubtedly, Josh Allen's development. Josh Allen's development has to be he has to get it. He has to be the franchise guy because if he's not, this whole thing doesn't work. He is the sole determining factor is if the if the Bills can get back to the playoffs or if they can't. Uh, and so they have to make sure that he works out fine and he's just got to get those reps. He's got to get those reps, take his lumps and, uh, you know, and hopefully he's ready to go for next season. Also, Dayball has to show that same creativity that he did against the Jets against every other team. We have to we don't have necessarily the talent this year to just play like a base team because we need creativity um you know to get that advantage over the other teams just because we don't have the talent uh necessarily as other teams this year hopefully that changes but i think we still need to be very uh you know how we, we need to shift things up uh, on offense and i think dable did a really good job of that last game against the jets also for next season defense has to stay top 10 that's just that's just key they have to be solid and i think you know, I think they will be. Um, they're number one overall right now as far as yards go, which is the determining factor. And I think that that is huge to see, um, you know, them be so dominant because, you know, we have a lot of players on this team who have multiple years left and, um, and we have a lot of cap space remaining. So we'll be able to resign some players and get players in and hopefully, who knows, who knows, but hopefully we can make a run deep into the playoffs in these next couple seasons. And my very last thing that the Buffalo Bills got to change, they got to get right, limit the freaking penalties, especially the pre-snap penalties. I know they don't have a lot of talent this year, but hopefully when they get some better players, they will be able to limit those penalties and hopefully they can stop shooting themselves in the foot. Um, they really need to stop those freaking penalties. 
So my very last thing that I want to talk about is the players that we need to absolutely re-sign. My number one priority is Kyle Williams, only because he's playing so well, and I think he's such a such a big captain of this team. And, you know, he's the heart and soul, so we got to make sure that uh, we get him back, and hopefully he comes back for one more year. Also, I have a maybe on Derek Anderson. Uh, you know, it really depends on where Josh Allen is. And, uh, and hopefully he is uh, making a huge impact on Josh Allen. Also, I have Matt Barkley. I think that this one is a no-brainer. He is definitely a solid number two to Josh Allen. And if Josh Allen were to ever go down in the future, I think we can rely on Matt Barkley to, you know, take charge. Um, and I think he will be fine. Another player that's interesting to watch is John Miller. I like John Miller, but I don't know if he's been doing enough to stay on this team. So he is a maybe resign factor. I think Isaiah McKenzie, you absolutely have to bring back. I think Robert Foster, you absolutely have to bring back. And Levi Wallace is my last guy that I'm gonna talk about. I think that he is a maybe as well. You know, I don't know uh, necessarily what they're gonna do. Who knows if Ryan Lewis takes that job. Uh, but I think Levi Wallace would be a nice guy to, to bring back as well, even on the practice squad. Um, I think he'd be pretty solid. But I think that's pretty much going to do it for me. If you guys think of anything that I missed or I didn't add, please go down below and tell me uh, what else the Buffalo Bills got to change. What other positions uh, do they need to do they need to look at? You know, what some what are some players in free agency that you guys would like the Buffalo Bills to sign? Let me know in the comments down below. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think, and obviously subscribe for more content. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, and go Bills. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.